Hey Qantas, can you bring this uniform back? This is brilliant. Good morning folks. Here we are again. Actually, just before I start, my wife watches these videos too and she says I say the word folks too much. Good morning folks. Hello folks. I know I do. I think it's just the British thing in me. But good morning folks. Friends, flying friends, everyone who's watching, good morning. I'm happy today. I've got a day off from flying, but I'm still surrounding myself with aeroplanes because we're almost ready to enter. I'm like, I'm 10 minutes early anyway, so I need to talk because I need to waste some time. I was too excited this morning. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. I've been building up to this at least two months of planning for me. So this is a really important moment for me. I'm really glad you're sharing it with me. All right, let's talk more planes. Come on, let's go. giving away free drinks wasn't making any money for them so when they removed first class from downstairs they removed the lounge and bar area from up here in the flight deck pilot sat on the left first officer on the right behind them you had the flight engineer in the flight deck 900 button styles and switches but over half of those were circuit breakers couple of the TV sets on either side of the cabin and next to those you've got a Waterford crystal lamp and you've already um, noticed the John Travolta uh, photo down the corner there so John was in front of our aircraft and the other pilot in front of John's. Now further into the aircraft inside all of the rooms you've got mirrors over the walls to make them appear larger than what they actually are. First room's a toilet, second room's a sitting area Third room is a bedroom. So here you go. This is where we were yesterday. Flew up to Longreach, took us an hour and a half in the Cirrus. 1926, Longreach to Charleville, took four hours, but it only cost eight quid. Side stick, it's just like the Cirrus. There's nothing to navigate on any, uh, except the fences, the playpen. That's a Qantas brochure from 1930 encouraging people to fly instead of taking the train. An open letter to progressive men. <laughs> Things were very different back then. And on the 747 with a very moderate fuel burn of one litre per second per engine. So this Catalina, this flying boat, this was the very last one operated by Qantas. Um, these things, they used to fly in the Second World War. They operated a link between Sri Lanka and Perth, but they still hold um, some world distance records 
Um, the average flight duration that these things used to have, the average, was 28 hours. It's just incredible the endurance on these machines. So this is where it all began. This was the original home of the Queensland and Northern Territory Aerial Services, or as we better know them now, Qantas from August 1922. There's some fantastic exhibits here, some of the original aircraft, because Qantas built their own aircraft back in the day, one of the first airlines to actually do that. This is very interesting, this is one of the very first known attempts at dabbing. So this is the interior of the DH-61. It flew from 1929 for Qantas. Could seat seven passengers. And the best thing about this plane, first passenger plane that Qantas operated with a toilet. I genuinely think there's more room inside the Cirrus than there is inside here, it's tiny. This used to fly from Brisbane to Charleville where we were the other day. Awesome though, look at the back of the seats. <laughs> This is the original structure for one of the light towers that was between Longreach and Mount Isa. And just with a single light at the top flashing and part way along the route. And that was how pilots navigated at night time. Nowadays, we put it in the GPS, hit the autopilot at 400 feet and off you go. But this was real navigating, true airmanship to be able to do that. So much respect for the people who used to fly this way. Then the hangar comes outside, straight onto the runway. And if you ever, ever are thinking of somewhere to come and visit and use your pilot's license for, come to Longreach, come here. It really is a very, very sacred and historic aviation site here in Australia. You may be wondering why I'm down here the night before flying away tomorrow. Well, I wanted to see Tango Delta Sierra, of course, and say hello, make sure she's okay. But um, also, I just wanted to bring my heavy bag over because I won't need it tomorrow morning, and it's one less thing to carry. So I've just dropped that off here because tomorrow morning, I want to leave quite early, like super early, like six in the morning early. Also, I wanted to try and get some time lapses of this awesome storm that's rolling through. Sadly, as the sun comes down, it comes to the end of the day here in Longreach. I've honestly had the best time here. It's, Longreach has been really friendly, not just here at the Qantas Founders Museum, but everyone in the motel I stayed at, the people I've spoken to at breakfast. If I talked to you whilst I was here at Longreach, it was great meeting you. Thank you for your hospitality. Sadly, I have to leave. I have to go back to Melbourne. Now, on the way home, I'm doing things a little bit differently than the original plan that I put on this channel. Instead of going home in three days, I'm actually going to try and go home in two. So tomorrow is going to be quite a long day of flying, so I'm going to start quite early. Longreach over Charleville. Um, thank you to, you know who you are, my friend out there who, who gave me some help on how to pronounce Charleville, not Charleville. I do appreciate that because I don't want to sound wrong on this channel. Longreach, Charleville. Then we're heading down to Burke. I'm going to stop at Burke and refuel, but then we're going to keep going and land at Griffith in New South Wales and stay there overnight. The reason I'm doing that is because on Sunday there's actually a big trough coming through and there's some pretty bad weather predicted for Melbourne so if I can get back sooner uh, it means I can get back on Saturday otherwise if I delay it probably wouldn't get in until Monday potentially. And just finally I want to reiterate something I said yesterday which is a big a huge thank you to everybody who's watched my videos on this channel, liked them, subscribed to the channel, reached out to me with messages, tweets, everything. Everyone who's interacted with me over the past few months as I've grown this channel, thank you. Because to be honest, without that support and the encouragement that you've given me, I honestly don't think I'd be challenging myself and coming to places like this. I just wanted to say thank you. I'll probably never be able to speak to you all individually, but through this camera right now, thank you so much. All right, that's it for Longreach. I'm going to grab some dinner and then get an early night before the early start. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do. We've still got the trip all the way back to Griffith tomorrow, then back to Moorabbin. Give us a like if you've enjoyed this video. Otherwise, thanks as always for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.
Okay, just a bit of a behind the scenes. I had my tripod just stuck in the tree here, but I've just noticed, look. It's crawling with ants. Ugh.